captain's log, stardate 6832.4. Spock has just rescued a man from a hostile alien planet, and the man is very sick. Spock has all the medicines, but he needs to know quickly what's wrong with the man before giving him the correct medicine. So what does he do? He takes out this funny looking black box called the tricoder and scans the man. The tricoder says it's a problem with the heart. Spock gives him the medicine for the heart and the man is saved. Hi, I'm Shiva, and if you cannot tell by now, I'm a huge fan of science fiction. <laughs> Particularly, I'm fascinated by the way how people in the future get treatment from artificially intelligent medical devices. The medical tricoder used in Star Trek can scan any patient and automatically come up with a diagnosis. This is the technology of the future, but we need it right now, because right now the Australian expenditure for healthcare is rising 10% faster than its GDP. The closest we have to this tricoder is what's called as an expert designed risk prediction systems. These systems can take a patient data and predict what is the risk of having a disease, what is the risk of having cancer, what is the risk of having heart failure, but they are not artificially intelligent. They are designed and maintained by medical experts and they require a lot of maintenance. Also, they are tailor made for a specific patient group, like cancer, put them onto another patient group and they fail miserably. So the goal of my PhD is to come up with an automatic risk prediction system that is portable across patient groups and also across hospitals. The value of my work lies in helping doctors make better decisions faster, which translates to better healthcare and reduced healthcare costs. But how do I do this? I'm a data scientist, so I torture data. I look at all the data of the patient, health information, medical details, and treatment history from the hospital records. I use an intelligent learning algorithm that is fine-tuned with the latest clinical research. When I take the data and give it to the learning algorithm, it finds out hidden patterns and relationships that could contribute to a good prediction. To test my system, I chose the two most damaging diseases in Australia, heart failure and diabetes. Heart failure affects 4% of our older population and diabetes is the fastest growing chronic condition in Australia. For a small group of patients in a regional hospital, my system was able to predict heart failure and diabetes with the same accuracy as an expert design system. In difference, my system is easier to integrate into the hospital, cheaper to build and maintain, and is portable across patient groups. I truly believe that these are the baby steps towards building a portable medical device that could, in the words of Spock, truly help us to live long and prosper. Right.